data zone. F1. Um, I just want to show you guys um, interesting things. I have um, some connections to the 45th Infantry Division Museum here in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Um, and there are things that come in time to time up there. Um, this is kind of where I got my military start and background um, into model making, guns, everything military. Yeah. The interest. Um, in high school, uh, I volunteered there with my brother. Um, it's pretty neat stuff. But uh, like I said, from time to time, things come in. That's what I want to show you guys a video of now is one interesting find that came in. Um, it's a lift off officer's coat. And let's go check it out right now. So here is the officer's jacket. Um, this is where I found it hanging on the rack. Um, look at those collar tabs. Um, there's nothing on here that is moth-eaten. It doesn't even look aged. That's why I almost thought, is this from a movie? But new, um, my brother explains here in a while where it came from, the history on it. Um, the quality on this thing is just, it's unbelievable. Um, it's second to none. Um, I'll just let you guys look through it here and just check it. These are close-up shots I took of it. Um, they get a lot of all kinds of memorabilia that comes in the 45th Museum. And it all can't be displayed, but someday when they get a bigger museum, it will be displayed. So um, they get weapons, uniforms, rare one-of-a-kind items. Um, I've seen some things come in from, they liberated Dachau, some items from Dachau when they liberated them that are um, uh, just unbelievable. People bring in full auto weapons that were never <clears throat> grandfathered in. Um, they'll be destroyed with the ATF. They bring them into us because they, you know, they have historical value. But one day when the museum gets to expand, they will, I'm sure, show off way more. This right here just happens to be another uh, field officer's uniform that was brought in with it. Apparently the veteran, well, his wife, this has, is a lot less, um, it's just degraded more. There's moth holes. There's some things. They, um, I think that's a hanger for an iron cross right there. That's what my brother had said. Um, you can tell the ribbons and decorations have been taken off, stripped off of this one. So um, I'm going to do an interview with my brother here. I will turn it over to him. So what are we looking at here? This is a Luftwaffe, basically what we would call a sergeant's uniform. Mm -hmm. uh, if you look at this, um, the medals are probably incorrect now. The, the, uh, the bullion glider qualification mm -hmm. badge, uh, that is correct. But if you look, the many loops that he had on there. We doubt if these are correct. Uh, it's a good size ribbon bar, probably uh -huh. Iron Cross on there. Uh, the wound badge probably just was not correct for it. But the gentleman who brought this back from World War II, I'm sure uh -huh. he just put these on there. But uh, it's in excellent condition. It is that. Um, it was donated by an elderly lady. I guess her husband brought them back from World War II. What he serve in? He yeah. served with the 45th, 45th Infantry Division. Yes. And they're just in excellent There's condition. no mouth holes at all on this, I can tell. There's, uh, I, mean, looked, I believe there's one or two, fake but aside me. from that, it's, yeah, it's in just about pristine condition. You'll have a little bit of, of uh, a little bit of mothing, but for the most part, no, that's in just about pristine condition. Are there supposed to be RZM tags in here? Or? No, RZM okay. was for the Let's German, for the National Socialist German Workers Party. That was for the oh, Nazis. Okay. They had that. Uh, this is Army. They would have been Army certification. I see 43 up here. Is that probably the year of manufacturing? Okay. And then the type is, oh, whatever. Get a little bit better. A lot of people know more than I do about this. And I think it actually has the manufacturer's name, but it's, you know, over time. Yeah, yeah. And also, it's not printed very well. Uh, yeah, I see that. 
That's kind of shriveled. But I don't, I'm not sure exactly what those stand for, but it's just beautiful. A, Gosh, these epilogues. Really good, authentic. That thread. I mean, it's we just. We figure he was probably was a uh, fighter pilot, and he was uh, what they call a flying sergeant. Okay. Uh, of course, we have nothing on who he was, no, just the uniform. But uh, it leads pretty much to all, like I said, especially with all of the qualifications. Whatever he got it from, it's just. I picked, picked it, up. it up. You know, this stuff was all over Germany at the time. So he surrendered, they had it or something, maybe. Now this one looks, this side over here, I don't know, maybe it's me, but that looks more dull than that. Maybe it was in a, in a closet. That Could be, I don't know, something up against that. It's got that. more sunlight or something on that one, doesn't it? It's kind of on. As far as I know, it's just in the, it's always in the closet. You know, they hit it and they were, she was going to, the, the woman was about to donate it to Goodwill. You kidding and me? And a gentleman who knew her from here at the museum said uh, you could donate that to the 45th Museum, which she did. That's a better idea. So that's why you go to uh, Goodwill and you never know what you're going to find. Look at this. It's kind of good. Just an excellent example of oh, the yeah. Luftwaffe Breast Eagle. God, that's beautiful. And so that's this is the latter condition. one, not the early one. Look inside here. It was put on. Nice to look at the stitching and things like that yeah. to give authenticity. Uh -huh. So thanks for watching. Um, I just want to close by saying, um, you guys, if you haven't been to the 45th Infantry Museum in Oklahoma City, you really ought to go. It's pretty nice. Um, let me show you some shots of it here. So here's the front of the entrance. Um, the museum is free to get into. Please leave a donation when you leave. But it's, it's one of the largest military collections in the nation. The Bill Malden collection is one like no other. Reeves military collection. Mr. Reeves collected huge amounts of firearms. Um, here's some of their Nazi stuff they've got for who's interested in that. Um, they've also got Hitler's mirror that came out of his, um, I believe his bunker that's in there. And then the cape came from his Munich apartment since the 45th liberated that. Here's a bunch of Hitler's linens and tablecloths and china and silverware they took out of the Munich apartment that a lot of vets donated. Um, it goes through everything. There's Japanese case. Um, they've got a little bit of everything since the Reeves collection goes through firearms history from the 1700s on. So there's a lot of Civil War stuff to on display. There's a, a Whitworth rifle there. They also have a, uh, one of the old Colt Walkers. Like I said before, it's free. Um, go leave a donation. Um, check them out on Facebook. Uh, just look up 45th Infantry Division Museum. There's a lot of vehicles out front, a lot of um, tanks and aircraft. You need to go see them. Here's just a shot of that. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Till next time. Bye.